Hello and welcome to Saturday, the fourth day, uh, the fourth Saturday in the uh, season of Christmas and Advent and our last devotional. Our scripture today is from Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord has made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. You may find it strange that we end the season with a psalm, which was perhaps written in King David's time. But a part of our present is remembering God's faithfulness of the past and that God's reign will continue long past our life here on earth. This psalm calls all the people of the earth to praise God. This is an action we have been called to since the very beginning. God made the heavens and the earth. God reigns over all sovereigns and deities. God is the great I am. I hear echoes of the Christmas song, Joy to the World in Psalm 96. Listen again. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And he will rule the world with righteousness. These are just a few of the lines that jump out to me. We sing, let heaven and nature sing, and he rules the world with truth and grace. But the echoes are definitely there. What can we learn from these script, this scripture and this song? God's love is complete. God created all, people, earth, trees, to be in relationship with God. God invited Adam and Eve into this relationship as God had them name the animals. God invited those who wrote and sang the Psalms to be in relationship with God, even in the midst of war and despair. Christ came to bolster our strength and to show us God on earth. And we are invited today to continue the song, even in the midst of continued brokenness in our world today. We may not be at the finish line where God's kingdom has come, but we are invited into God's love and asked to respond with complete praise. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Please pray with me. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Amen. Our thought for today. Today begins the 12 days of Christmas leading up to Epiphany on January 6th. Will you fully embrace the Christ child and live with love and hope for a better world through your actions in these 12 days? Kim and I thank you for joining us for these Advent devotionals. We hope they have blessed you. We hope that they have brought you comfort in the midst of times of sorrow, joy in the midst of time of celebration. We ask that you continue to remember God daily in your thoughts and prayers by continuing to read the Bible into this new year. May God bless you all and Merry Christmas.